What is up everybody, it's the Anime Watcher here and for today we are going to be continuing the main story for Blue Archives Volume 3. And yeah, I've got nothing else to say, so without a further ado, let's continue where we left off, shall we? Exam prep, okay. So we're actually at the exams now, okay. I wasn't expecting that to happen soon, but okay. Oh, here we go, here's the Piroro uh, drawing at the whiteboard. There we go. Oh, I love the Piroro bags everywhere. Oh, wait, no. It's a bag. It's a cushion. The other one's a cushion. That's pretty cute. <laughs> That's really cute. Oh, <laughs> It's so cute. I like it so much. I don't understand this question, Hanako. Hmm? This problem is about prime factorization. You can use the visibility rules here. All you have to do is... Hmm, I see. Oh? Hey Koharu, what happened to you know? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say it. Are you stuck on something, Koharu? No, of course not. FYI, the page you're on right now won't be on the exam. Oh my god! Oh my god! Koharu is literally me. Whenever there's an exam, I would sometimes study the wrong book or subject. I hate that so much. It's always because. At school, I usually don't pay attention to what the teachers are saying. All I do is simply just, you know, just stare randomly or think about, you know, cute anime girls and stuff like that. Or, you know, just think about something else that like, because it's boring. It's boring. Okay, class is boring. But then whenever there would be a quiz or an exam happening, I would sometimes ask my friends for like, hey, hey like, what's going to be the exam for tomorrow? And then I'll be able to study. But there are times where I'm just too lazy to ask my friends. So I just decide to like study anything, whatever I can. And just pray for the best that what I am studying currently will be the exam that I'm going to take in the next morning. So I hate that so much. I really... <laughs> this is such a me moment Koharu is uh, facing right now. It's kind of nostalgic. I knew that. I was just getting ahead. That's all. <laughs> I don't understand the meaning of this sentence, Hanako. I love how it, I love how they're going towards Hanako. I mean, that's fine. That's fine, of course. It's pretty cute. Hanako's like the older sister in the club, in the family. Actually, I'm kind of curious. Since this is just a temporary club, right? Does that mean that once they're like once it's over, they'll go their separate ways? I don't want that. I want them to stay as they are. It's the first verse of an ancient epic. It translates to, Oh goddess of poetry, sing a song of rage. Ah, that one. I understand. It's pretty cute. Oh, is Hifumi like... Uh, not like, is she like... I'm not gonna say jealous, but is she like concerned? No, what's the right word here? Is she like feeling left out here? Because Hifumi is like a top student, right? But both Azusa and Koharu are going for Hanako. I think that's what's happening to Hifumi right now. I could be wrong though, but we'll see. Hanako, this one. That's a translation of an ancient language. Hold on a second. Let me grab a dictionary so we can understand it better. Oh, in that case, I think I've got it. Gaudium et spes. Joy and hope, I think. Correct. That's the slogan of the Second Council. More importantly, can you read that language, Azusa? Mm, yeah, I learned it a long time ago. Okay, yeah, okay, that's definitely the point. That's definitely the reason here. Okay, so Hifumi's being left out, and she's supposed to be the president, right? I mean, to be fair, let's say we never knew that uh, Nagisa appointed Hifumi to be the club president. And then we just dive right into this, like into the scene right here. We would definitely think Hanako would be the president, right? So I guess I can see how Hifumi is like feeling right now. Isn't it? Isn't it? Hanako seems to have a real knack for tutoring. And Azusa has a real, oh, has a real will to learn. If Koharu told us the truth about hiding her full potential, then I have a feeling that the exams will be a breeze. What a relief. To 
be honest, I was really worried. Oh, so I guess I was wrong. Never mind. I take it back. In fact, the tea party gave me an order to start a boot camp for the second exam if any one of us fails the first one. Boot camp? Yes, that's how far they're taking things. If anyone fails all three exams, what exactly will that entail? N nothing. I don't think we have to worry about that, so let's not jinx it. At the rate things are going, the exams should be no problem. By the way, could Hanako have failed by missing the exam like I did? I mean, she seems so good at studying. I don't know how else she could be she could have failed. She failed because she was wearing a swimsuit at the exams. The day of the first special academic evaluation exam. Good luck, good luck girls. You can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. Good luck on the first exam, everyone. I don't need luck. I'll show you. I'll show you what it means to be an elite. Just you watch. It's interesting. So far, Koharu hasn't done her usual shtick where she would like, "Are you doing something, perd? Are you a lewd person? Are you a pervert?" So far, she hasn't said anything about that. Okay. That's interesting. Although Hanako has already been in character from the start, so yeah. Azusa as well. Understood. All preparations are complete. Oh, what's with the bell? That was kind of creepy. The first evaluation exam. Oh, they look pretty cute. Damn. Good luck, girls. I know you can do it. That looks pretty cute. Thank goodness these are all questions we covered in our makeup work. The problems we studied with Sensei and the parts we went over together are exactly the same. Koharu is getting scared. Oh no. So looks like... Oh my god, Koharu is definitely not gonna ace this. Could they have designed it to give the makeup work club a break? Even though they were threatening to send us to boot camp? They really came through for us. This is, um... <laughs> Hanako isn't even answering. Is that why she failed in the first place? Because she never chose to answer in the first place? Oh damn, I was just so serious about this. Damn. This is a cool shot. That's it. Everyone that- oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's it everyone. That's pretty cute. I love that. The the finish line is within sight. Pass this test and we can all graduate from the makeup work club with smiles on our faces. Well, I mean she's not talking right now, she's just saying it in her head. That bell is definitely creeping me out. I know that's how schools work, like they have a bell to like you know, to tell the time. But that was a creepy bell. The scores have been calculated, and Koharu has a low score. <laughs> or Blue Archive could surprise me. Koharu actually passed. Damn, 60 out of 100. That's fine. Everything is fine as long as he didn't fail. And this test was practically a warm-up. Please tell us the test results, Sensei. We're ready whenever you are. Announce the results. Give me 72. Nice. Result pass. I did it! Next up is... Azza. Oh my god. 32. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's still a pass. It's still a pass. No, that's still a pass. Hmm, so close. Not even close. Hold on, that's barely even halfway to passing. Th this was supposed to be an easy test. Koharu 11. Oh my god, then I'm gonna guess Hanako is practically zero. Because she never answered anything. Wait, just a minute. What happened to holding back and unlocking your true potential? Are you sure you took the first year exam this time, Koharu? You didn't take the second year one again, or maybe the third year exam. I can explain that this was pretty hard. No, it wasn't. It was supposed to be easy. Oh my.
What are we going to do, Hanako? Even if the two of us pass, we'll still have no. <laughs> uh, Hanako, zero. Ultimately failed. <laughs> oh, oh, never mind. I mean, two is, two is better than what I had in mind. <laughs> Bruh. A two? Oh. Unwelcome school. Hell yeah. Two? Did I hear that right? Is that grade even possible? What happened, Hanako? You looked like you were in your element while studying. I've been told to I give up the vibe, but that doesn't mean I get good grades. Oh my god! This is worse than I thought. <laughs> Hippomi's gonna lose it. She's losing it. Vibe? Just the vibe? It has nothing to do with your grades! Oh no. Stay with us, Hippomi! I'm kind of curious now. How are we going to like solve this? <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> That's so cute. Is going to boot camp. Okay. That's so cute. I like this. I like this volume a lot. What lurks in the depths? Oh, that sounds like a pretty serious episode. That sounds like a serious title for an episode. Okay. <laughs> God damn it, it's it's still funny to me. Okay, this is a serious episode right here. Hey Nagisa. Welcome Sensei. How good of you to join me. How are you and the makeup work club faring? Yes, I heard the news. It sounds like the first exam didn't go as so well. There are still two exams left, however. Oh, this? I was playing a game of chess. It's a hobby of mine. Who is she playing with? Is something wrong? Aside from the pawns, the black side is only a king and queen, whereas the white has three or four each of kings, rooks, bishops, and knights. I'm sure this game must look strange to you. Are you playing by yourself? Yes, it's just me at the moment. Mika isn't here to cause her usual distractions. I've been waiting here by myself to speak with you. Though it would seem there's something you would like to ask first. What happens to the makeup work club if someone fails all three exams? They get expelled. That's what I'm that's what I'm guessing. So you heard about that. If I must have told you. She's soft hearted when it comes to such things, though that is one of her commendable qualities. Nothing out of the ordinary would happen. There's only one course that can be taken after repeated academic failure. Everyone in the makeup work club will be expelled. Everyone? Jesus Christ. So if one fails, the rest follow. Okay. It's only natural that Trinity have regulations regarding failure, suspension, and expulsion. The steps in doing so are long and arduous. Unlike Gehenna, Trinity follows procedure. The Makeup Work Club, however, was created using a loophole that gets around those rules. It was thanks to Chalet's authority that it was established. After all, the Makeup Work Club's true purpose... Please tell me. Tell me, come on. Is to ex expel students? What? Why would you do that? Because among them is someone who would seek the bit- <gasps> No! Wait, really? No! No, I don't think so. There's a traitor? No, there's no way anyone is a traitor among them. There's no way. This traitor seeks to prevent the Eden Treaty from being signed. I suppose it's time I explain the treaty so that you might understand the gravity of the situation. Wait, what? There's a traitor? She must be kidding, right? The Eden Treaty, simply put, is a non-aggression pact between Trinity and Gehenna. Its main purpose is to establish a neutral treaty organization comprised of key figures from both Gehenna and Trinity. This organization names the Eden Treaty Organization. 
will automatically intervene and resolve any conflict that breaks out between Trinity and Gehenna. This will prevent all-out war between the two academies, for if one flounders, then both will sink together. Excuse me. No, I doubt that. There's no way, like, any of the girls are traitors. Uh, there's no way. I just don't believe that. Nagisa might be wrong here. She must be chasing the wrong uh, info. Because there's no way, like, one of them is like a traitor. I don't believe that. The Eden Treaty is the only way to put an end to the needless hostility and keep the balance of power in Kivotos. The solution was suggested by the General Student Council president. It had fallen by the wayside once she went missing, but I've been able to restore its momentum. By n and now, just as we're preparing to finally sign the treaty, we receive intelligence that there are people planning to sabotage it. That said, we don't know who she is. That's, that's why our next best option was to gather every suspect in one place. What? But then... But that doesn't make sense. Just because they're they're failing they're they're failing students doesn't mean they're the traitor. What the hell? What kind of logic is that? Like it could be someone else. It could be someone smart. It could be someone unexpected. It could be Seiya who has been missing. I know she was like ill and stuff, but come on. We don't know that. It could be Mika. We don't know that. Jesus Christ, I still cannot fathom. I don't want to even think about it. Like, Azusa comes to mind, considering her personality, but don't judge a book by its cover. I don't think it's either of them. I think Nagisa's wrong here. She's a... No, I feel like she's wrong here. She has to be. We'd have to dispose of the entire apple cart to get rid ourselves of one rotten one. Fortunately, Sensei, that's why we chose you to tend to the apple cart. To advise the makeup work club. My apologies. I realize I've put you in the middle of quite the predicament. You have every right to resent me. Damn, I love Nagisa so much, but I, I cannot allow this slander to go on any further. I refuse to believe that there's a traitor among them. Like, Azusa, Hifumi... Koharu and Hanako? I don't think they're I don't think they're traitors. I don't think one of them could be a traitor. I don't think that. You wouldn't have told me any of this if you were only planning to use me. You are correct. Damn, okay, so she's a manipulator. I never thought about that from Azusa. Oh, Azusa. Nagisa. God damn it. It's good that you're quick on the uptake. I never expected that, but that still doesn't change the fact that I kinda want her to be playable. So this is her personality then. Well, we already saw her, you know. Other personality when she lashed out at Mika earlier. I would like for you to suss out the, the traitor hiding among the makeup work club. There's no way. She must be wrong here. They are already deceiving you and Trinity as we speak. She is a terrorist and terrorists do not wish for peace. They think they can risk the safety of Kivotos for their own personal gain. Finding the traitor is for the sake of Kivotos' peace and safety. Surely that's something you can sympathize with as a representative of Shale. No, I'm going to find a solution my way. Will you now? Nagisa sounds like a, like a villain. God damn. She acts like one. I mean, either way, she's doing it for the sake of her school. That's understandable, but come on. Not like this. There are many ways to alter exam results. For example, the contents, location, or difficulty of an exam could suddenly be changed at the last minute. Of course, it would be a shame if such a thing happened, but then again. Pardon me, Sensei. I'll continue to leave the Makeup Work Club under your care. I'd love to say that you personally won't expose won't be exposed to any unpleasantness because of this. I somehow doubt that. Right, I make no promises. But knowing you, someone who couldn't bear to leave a student behind, I can hardly predict how things will ultimately turn out. Oh my god, is Nagisa the villain here? Oh my god, seriously? Is she the villain in this volume? 
she's like a she's like a hero in villain's motives i guess but there's there's definitely no way like nagisa no not nagisa there's definitely no way he for me azusa koharu or hanako are like one of them is a traitor i don't think so she must be wrong here because it's always the unexpected ones who turn out to be the traitor I'm, I am putting my doubts on Seiya. I don't know. They say she is ill, but what was that at the prologue? She was definitely not ill at the prologue. So I am sussing on Seiya right here and now. I could definitely be wrong. <laughs> I hope this doesn't age well though. But yeah, I am sussing out Seiya here. Well then, until next time. There's definitely no way. Boot camp, here we come! Oh god damn, okay, Hanako, wow. Wow, I certainly cannot wait for that. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. I still refuse to believe that one of them could be a traitor. I don't think it's them. It must be somebody else. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe or hit the bell notification below so you'd be notified of videos such as these. And not just that, but also be notified of when I would be live streaming. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you guys next time. See ya!